Uh, it's Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. This is a grow update for Sunday, September 16th, 2018. We're getting a lot of rain. It's what's left from um, Hurricane Florence. It's like a tropical depression now. It's catching the edge of it. There's. I'm not going to go into to my drip plants today, but. Um, they pretty much have already did last update. I've picked a lot of those off. I still need to pick some. So um, I'll just show what's on the porch today. I've got uh, this 10 gallon tote with the reservoir fed system. These plants, or this plant with these pods, look pretty good. This is the unknown cross of a lightning muster had. It's um, pretty loaded. And MOA Scotch Bonnet. I picked it down pretty good and there's not much left of it. Um, same with this Hab. There's a Mikado here that's it's got a few pods on it. The one that I'm really impressed with is are these two um, Kangstar crosses. On the left is the uh, Kangstar Red and the right is the Starwatcha Bonnet. And they both have grown really tall. Um, this is the Kingsta red. It's about six feet. Well from the top of this tote. Um, it's not that high but it's you know, at, with the tote height it's about six feet and the Star Watch of Bonnet is, is uh, very close to it. And I've got starting to get a lot more fruits on here. It's pretty loaded. I think part of the delay in fruiting was just that it um, it was still growing roots. I'm mean, still growing the plant. There's still room for the roots, and um, but it's so there's a few of the star watching bonnets there, and it's underneath it's a few more. There's some more right back in there. And there's some growing kind of over the side down here as well. There's some of the Kingsta Red. These look similar to the, the ones on the drip system in shape. And this, I believe, this is Star Watch a Bonnet. It's kind of growing over on this side. And uh, I had like a really bad infestation of hornworms this week and I picked probably at least 20 off and then a bunch more that had been um, parasitized by parasitic wasps. So those I just pull the leaves off and set them to the side so the wasp part of it can hatch. And the others I just picked off and killed. It's probably, a, I've been checking every day, it's like every day I like finally some more but I haven't seen any yet today. But um, one thing to look for, I don't, I already swept this, but look for little droppings. There's a few I didn't reach back in there, but that's a um, giveaway. So there's a few on top of here. But um, yeah, actually, I've got, here's a few that I, that I picked, picked off. Just set them to the side. And these will, um, these are the like the little casings for the wasp larvae, and they're feeding on the worm. Uh, it's basically they eat the worm from the inside, and uh, then they'll hatch out of these little cocoon-looking things. So I just those I don't kill because there's those ben parasitic wasps are beneficial to uh, to me as a grower, so I let them be. But, um, yeah, so that's those. Yeah, I picked a bunch of them off, but, uh, you know, ones that weren't parasitized, but, um, you see a lot of, um, damage. This is what they do. They really strip a plant down in no time. That's damage from one there. And, um, Anyway, yeah, so 
So I'm um, pretty happy with this system. It's actually drank everything that was in there initially, and I've added about, this is just, this is the reservoir, but it's sitting on top of this other bucket just to kind of make the gravity feed work a little better, but it's, um, I've added close to 10 gallons to this so far. So it's really drinking it down. Um, I'm not gonna pull that off, but it's, it's got a bunch in there now. You can see more of the there's a fruit that got messed up. Like something ate it. Probably one of those horn worms. There's some more in there. Anyway, that's a short update. Um, just wanted to show that. I've got a lemon starburst I've been growing in a I just never planted it. But it's got fruits on there. Some spider web. I've just been adding nutrients at the bottom, like a double cup. And uh, I need to maybe overwinter it or something. But um, anyway, yeah, that's that's my grow update. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked that. Please like, comment, and subscribe.